recognize the gentle, gentleman, Dr. Bouchon, five minutes for questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, I just want to say I was, I'm, a, I'm a physician who has, uh, who has operated on premature babies as young as 23 weeks gestation. In fact, the smallest baby I operated on in my practice weighed only 650 grams. I did a specific operation called a patent ductus ligation in premature babies. And so I find the, the discussion, the callousness of the discussion particularly appalling in, in the videos based on, based on that as well as the fact that I'm a father of four and a, and a pro-life person. But also as a physician, I take access to health care very, very seriously and it's very important to me. And that's why I think it's such a ridiculous argument that the uh, minority makes that Republicans in some way want to limit access to health care for women. That's a debunked argument. It's failed politically and it's failed factually many, many times. But they continue to make it because that's the only thing they have. So with that, I want to also outline some statistics on Planned Parenthood about access to health care. This is their own data. They treat just 2 percent of the nation's women for any reason, 2 percent. 98 percent of women get their health care other places other than Planned Parenthood. They also don't offer women some basic primary care. And I'm, mammograms were just mentioned, but Ms. Waxman, do, does, does Planned Parenthood perform mammograms? You know, I, uh, my own doctor That's doesn't. That's yes or no. Uh, it yes is, or no answer. It does is Planned no, Parenthood perform? As, as most They do not. So Ms. Neget's statement was false. They don't perform mammograms, okay? They do and breast this, exams, however. Uh, that's, well, any physician can do that. In fact, you know it's the law that if a woman comes into your office and they haven't had a breast exam within a year, even a cardiovascular surgeon must perform a breast, a complete breast exam. Do you know that that's true? In many, in I don't, but that's great. That's the facts. That's great. Yeah. Um, do you know, do they do, do they provide um, cardiovascular blood tests for women? I don't know. They don't. I'll tell you. Uh, do they offer bone mass measurements for women, which is very important, as you know, because people are women are at risk for osteoporosis. Do they do that? I don't know. The answer is no, they don't. And do you, I think you do know this one. Do, do they perform, are their cancer screenings have decreased by half over the past 10 years? Uh, I don't know that either. The answer is yes, it has. So the, the argument here, and I'm speaking from a physician's standpoint, this is purely about pro-choice people trying to protect the organization that performs, what, 40 percent of the abortions in, in the United States. This is not about women's health care. Republicans want all women to have access to quality, affordable health care, regardless of their zip code, regardless of what part of the, what socioeconomic status they are. That's just a false argument. And to stand here and try to say that if we don't redirect money to uh, health centers that are, you know, that can be funded by the federal government and that Planned Parenthood loses some of it the, loses their funding, that all of a sudden women aren't going to have access to health care is just a false argument. I, I mean, it's just, it's just not true. And so uh, the, the other thing is, is, you know, I looked up the laws in Indiana about what if you did this to uh, a pet, you know, if you, if you did some of the things described in these videos to, you know, a, 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 an animal that was born alive and you destroyed them and took their body parts, you, you, in Indiana, you can go to prison for 180 days and $1,000 fine. That's for, a, that's for a pet. And so to argue that we shouldn't have, that, that, that this should be something we should just callously talk about, about a human being, is ridiculous. So um, I, just, I just think that um, we need to seriously look at uh, our country and whether or not, as a people, we're willing to accept this activity and quit trying to protect people that, that are doing things that uh, really are, is morally and potentially legally uh, not correct.